Meteorologist Chris Haddings back here, give you an update on the expected snow and very cold temperatures coming in across the area. Starting to take a look at some uh, watches, warnings, and advisories. The whole area, our area, under purple, just about the whole area, these are winter weather advisories. We put a lot of these out this morning. And even down here, nothing here yet, but this probably will be filled in as we head through the afternoon hours. So if you want to check the start and end times, a lot of different ones there. Go to that website right there, weather.gov slash RAW for your neck of the woods. Now our confidence for this, very cold temperatures, that's a slam dunk. That's going to happen. That's 100%. Travel problems, very good chance of seeing those. Maybe some road closures. Now, where and when those occur, we can't predict that, obviously. But especially, I think, Monday, could be some difficult travel around the area. Time to the snow, better, you know, better handle on that medium to high for that. But snowfall amounts, still low confidence on this. Again, banded snow, a lot of areas, you know, you go five miles away, they may have two or three more inches. And to give you a comparison to how hard it was to forecast the snow versus temperatures, a little thing from my college days. Now, I'll show you this book right here. This is just the introduction to meteorology. A lot of people take this to satisfy their science requirement. Pretty easy course to pass. That's like forecasting the, the temperatures. Now, forecasting the snowfall amounts is like this. Now, this is dynamic meteorology. This is a very advanced book. Everybody has to take this course and pass it to get into the weather source of most meteorology jobs. And it's not an easy course to pass. Show you something from here. See those? Differential equations, integrals. Those give me nightmares and flashbacks just thinking about that. I'm kind of freaking out right now just looking at that. So I don't want to think about that anymore. But very difficult snowfall forecast. I'll give you some probabilistic stuff and our best guess as to what's going to happen toward the end of the briefing. But first, I want to show you those very cold temperatures, the easy part. You can see many areas 40 to 50 degrees cooler. This goes from Sunday, highs on Sunday today, which will still be fairly warm, to about Tuesday, when it's going to be probably the coldest day. And then we have just a slow warm up through most of the week. So it's going to be very cold pretty much all the way through the work week. And one more thing I want to show you. This is what it's going to feel like uh, Monday night into the first part of Tuesday. See, just about the whole area is going to be at least 20, 25 below as far as uh, feels like temperatures. Some places as low as 30 or 35 below. That's dangerous cold. So try to limit your exposure outside. Again, you got to go outside. This is Wyoming. We know how to handle this. Make sure you dress in layers and cover up as much exposed skin as you can. And timing out the impacts, the storm has slowed down a little bit from what it was yesterday. So much of the area will be dry pretty much through most of the day. There could be some snow coming into the western mountains late in the day, but most areas will be dry through sunset. Moving into places like Cody Buffalo, I-90 after sunset. And dropping north to south. Now, once you get down to about the Isle Creeks, much of the nighttime will be dry there too. The snow probably won't start there till around dawn around Riverton, as well as Lander down toward Rock Springs as well. You see the maximum impacts there. Mainly a nighttime Monday event for most of the areas in the northern part of the area. Now, from Casper down to Rock Springs, there will be another area of snow forming, and it could come down pretty good, especially on Monday afternoon to Monday evening. So, these areas probably impacted the most and probably the longest period for most of this moves out as we head through Tuesday. And some probabilistic stuff here. This is a percent chance of getting one inch or more. Decent chance for just about everybody. You can see the lowest chance, Bighorn Basin down through Riverton. But Western Mountains, they're going to get an inch of snow, just about a slam dunk. Rock Springs up toward Casper, Buffalo, very good chance of seeing that as well. Now, not a lot of moisture with the system. You see this when I bump this up to two inches. You see, again, a central area, level, Grable, Thermopolis, all the way down toward uh, Riverton. One in three chance or less are getting two inches or more. Now, this is powdery. It's going to blow around a lot, so good luck trying to measure it. But it still could cause those travel problems with the blowing snow. could be some ground blizzard conditions at times. Now, the best chance of seeing that western mountains, obviously. And from Rock Springs up through Casper, Buffalo, very good chance of seeing at least two inches. Now, we get out toward four. This is what a lot of people consider plowable snow. Best chance of seeing that, Rock Springs, again, Casper, up toward Buffalo, and also the western mountains up in this area. Highest amounts will probably be over here. You'll see this, I'm going to show you the official amounts right now. I'll take this with a grain of salt, not 100% certainty on that, but our best guess right now, highest amounts will be over here across the Tetons, locally up to a foot in the higher elevations. Now the lower elevations, two areas I want to focus on, basically the secondary piece of energy coming in Monday into Monday evening, Rock Springs, up toward Casper, anywhere here in south of this line, I'll probably get the most snow out of this. Also a decent chance of a good amount of snow around Buffalo, three to four inches there. Two to three around Cody could be some upslope in this area. Much of the rest of the area, anywhere from one to three inches. However, there will be a lot of wind with this system as well. With that dry powdery snow, will blow it around. So even if you don't have a lot of snow, travel will, probably will be impacted. 
And we take a look at the resources here, weather, you know where to go, weather.gov slash REW. Again, road conditions, these are the places to go. Don't call us for the road conditions. Want to go on the web? Wireroad.info, great website for that. You want to call them on the phone? If you're in-state, 511, out-of-state, 188 Wild Road. Want to look at those webcams? Take a look for yourself. Weather.gov slash REW, local programs. You click on webcams by route and look all over the great state of Wyoming. Be safe, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your weekend.